Good day everyone. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Danielle A. Lama and I am a grade 11 student from Calamba City Science Integrated School. Before I formally start my speech, I would like to share and ask some random questions that always rekindle my mind. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Can you handle the situation? Throughout this speech, let us find out what may be the answer to those questions. Before this pandemic, I have a lot of plans to do after the academic year 2019-2020. But all of that vanished for like a single glimpse of an eye. My goals were also changed when this COVID-19 came. Honestly speaking, I am not prepared in this situation. I thought that this only happens in movies and dramas, and until now, I can't believe that this is happening. I believe that being prepared in any kind of pandemic, geologic events, and any other calamities are not only just focusing on our physical health. We also have to remind ourselves that our mental health needs our care. It is also important even though our body is the number one priority these days. Let me give you 7 tips and advices on how to take care of our mental health. First of all, do not pressure yourself. People around you may expect too much from you. If that is so, then don't mind them. If you have your goals, plans, and own decisions, it is okay if they disagree with it. Remember that you don't have to depend on them. Do what you like to do and what you want to do because that is your life and you make your own choice. Secondly, take some pauses. Have you experienced a long road trip with your family and friends? And when you came home, you feel like your body is so heavy and all you want to do is to lay down on your bed and sleep for hours. Just like this, stop for a while if you feel like it is too much to handle, and then continue again. The third one is having a quality time to yourself. This pandemic is such a blessing as well. Because before all of this, we are so busy in doing different stops to the point that we are forget to take care of ourselves. Now that we are locked down in our houses, grab this opportunity to spoil ourselves and do the things that we do not usually do. For example, before COVID-19 came, I didn't have a chance to watch K-dramas and movies before because I have a lot of school works to do. Before I came home from school, I would sleep, and then when I wake up, I will go to school again, and then repeat. It's like my world just revolves around it. On the other hand, we still need to discipline ourselves, just like today. Students are experiencing a total different kind of schooling compared to a traditional way. We are more exposed to technologies, causing to have some distractions. Just remember your priorities and needs before you focus on what you only decide to do. For the fourth tip, ask for help when you need it. Be honest to yourself. Do not keep up that ego against you. Just like what I said earlier, we all sometimes get tired by how we feel, especially when things do not go to plan. Again, if things are getting too much and you feel like you can cope at all, then ask for someone else's help. Your friends, families, and those special people can always offer a listening ear and a helping hand. This is your acceptance. If you are taking a hard time in accepting yourself, it is also difficult for you to accept and love the people around you. If you accept yourself, it can boost your confidence to do the things that you do not usually do. When you have a good self-esteem, it can help you to cope up a difficult turns in life. Second to the last is taking about your feelings. Do not keep your problems to yourself. It doesn't mean that you're weak if you show your weaknesses, and if you are talking about your problems, you open up. It might be a way to encourage other people to do the same as you did. Even if it's hard to express what you really feel in words, just take it in actions and it I will guarantee you that you will get better. Lastly and most importantly, pray to God and it is indeed true that He will break every change that you are experiencing. Just have faith in Him. And believe in Him. Everything will follow. You will not suffer anymore if you have Him in your life. After all of those, 
I just want to recall those questions that I've asked to you a while ago. Did you find your answer? Are you feeling better? Can you able to handle the situation after all the things that I've said? If yes, then I am completely satisfied. As a conclusion, it is good if we take care of our physical health, but it is better it is better rather if our mental health is also prioritized and valued. In this pandemic, it is important that we follow these tips so that we can have a peaceful and stable mind. Before I end up my speech, I just want to share my favorite Bible verse. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Simply state that nothing is impossible if you have Him in your life. Once again, I am Daniel A. Lama from Calamba City Science Integrated School. Thank you and stay safe.